Welcome. This is a recording of adults playing or talking about tabletop games. This means that adult language and or themes may occur within that could be seen as inappropriate for younger audiences. Thank you. You guys are escorted down to the car. Um, when you go and you, you finally get to the, the vehicle, and when I say car, it, I mean, it, it's future tech car. We're not talking like normal car. This thing like hovers around. It doesn't like use wheels and shit like that. Um, you see two larger servitors, more like construction or like industrial level servitors. Um, they seem to be loading some big metal black case into the trunk of this car. And then closing it um, as the other, the, the yellow uh, clothed servitor escorts you over. And he says, uh, if you sirs would please step in, I would be happy to escort you over to the hospital as, as per requested. I'm still following along, so if they hop in, I'm hopping. That would be much appreciated. If you could also give us the uh, Duchess's contact information, she did say we could contact her if we needed to. Absolutely, yeah, sir. Just... Does one of you have a data pad, data slate that I would be able to put that information into? Okay. This guy. So, so yeah, you 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 kind of reach down into one of your satchels and and pull out a data slate, and you see him, like, reach into his waist and, like, unsnake, like, a cord and, like, stab it into, like, the side of the data slate. And then, like, after a second or two, he, he pulls it out and he says, Hey, you guys, all of her information is right there. You'll be able to uh, access her, her personal uh, box and uh, be able to access her estate with permissions, of course, okay. at any time that you would like. So Much well. appreciated. But I just have the codes that I would need to feed into, like, a, a radio thing. My yeah. data pad can't contact her. Right, yeah. But it, okay. it, it's basically you added her to your contacts is what you did. Yeah, so any time that I have a means of communication, I could contact her. Right. Okay. You know, her address, her name, you know, yeah. a personal phone a number, her estate phone number. Yeah, you got her whole Rolodex in there. Um, and he says, well, if there is nothing else, uh, let's be on our way. Um, at that point, he... he lets you all he helps you all get in um he gets into the front and and you guys begin driving um as you begin driving you move you're moving outward from like the center area like basically where you guys were is almost like the dead center of the capital and now you're going outward again so it's progressively going from from nice to worse oh. to worse to worse to worse um, at a certain point, you hear you hear that that voice in the car say, "The air is no longer suitable for human lungs. Please roll up your windows so that the the cleaning system may take care of your your oxygen for you." At which point, he hits a button and the windows roll back up, and so you, you then smell that that kind of clean ozony, airplaney type air get filtered through the the cabin of the car. Um, I think at this point, like it's probably like fairly dark. Um, the lights are still really well lit. All the all the lights along the roadways are, are really bright. Um, and he, he starts like, yes, Stephen. Is this a hive city that like we can't see the sun right now or the sky right now, right? We're like above us is just more buildings and shit. Oh yeah, there, or is this you, more you of an open air? You couldn't tell hive? if there was sun in the first place, but. Okay, so the only light is like artificial light, but maybe it's dimmed because it's like nighttime or something. Yeah, it's dimmed because it's nighttime. Okay. They seem to have kind of like an okay. artificial system to indicate dark when... Just so shit stays diurnal. Right, exactly. Okay, cool. So that people kind of stay on a, a kind of circadian rhythm kind of concept. Mm -hmm. um, at which point, you uh, you all um, are, are driving along, and I need a perception check from all three of you. Oh, man. And dumb question again, that's just flat speed. Yep. Okay. I clicked it. Did it... Where did it work? Did it finally work? There we go. Oh, I just rolled. Okay, well, I guess the first one. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, it's too late now. Never mind. Who are you wanting? I was going to say, I have um, these. Uh... Uh, photo contacts. Uh huh. So I was, was at, I'm wondering mm -hmm. if they gave me an asset, but no, those are better in the dark. Yeah, yeah those two. Actually, oh, they they help you see in the dark, right? I believe so. What are they? What's the description on them? 
I don't have a description on them because I think I just grabbed them from the list that you were give, that you gave us on the sheet. One second, and I will tell you. So I'm pretty sure because it, it, what's about to happen is enough that you need to know. So, well, yeah. I'm I'm trained in sight for like low light and long distance, but yeah. I, I do. I also still need to think of it something that I'd be inept so that I can have that. Hmm. So then do we all actually get an asset for that? Because they have the photo contacts and I'm an Eldar, so I'm trading something to be good yeah, at that. Yeah, you have an asset. He has, um, yes, you do have an asset, Pika, with your photo contacts, so we'll give you a bonus for that. And Jay rolled still Yarn. high. Yeah. So. I have. Um, yeah. So. I sobered up real quick. A couple <laughs> seconds before it happens, you see a gentleman in like the back seat of a car, like a really nice town car, and out the front window you see a gentleman, like, step out into the middle of the road in front of your car, maybe 20 yards-ish in front of you. And he seems to hulk something up on his shoulder. And then you, you can visibly see a flash of light burst out the front. What do you guys do? Because all of you see this. So it looks like he's firing a rocket launcher or something? Probably a rocket launcher. Um, am I next to the door? Yes. I'm going to assume that all of you are next to the door. Maybe one of you sitting up in the front, like on the, like, the, the passenger side of like the driver or something like that. How fast oh, wait, are we wait, traveling? I am totally sitting shotgun. I am totally sitting okay. shotgun. Yeah, you're sitting shotgun. I grab the wheel and I swerve. <laughs> okay, that works. How fast are we traveling? 30, 35 miles an hour. Mm. Like, like normal federal highway type, like, kind of... Like, long strip of road. I mean, you and I are the only people that know Federal Highway, but... Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, your normal, like, dust like, traffic-y road. Um, it's a little bit uh-huh. dark, so there's not as many cars at this point in time. So, you're grabbing the wheel and trying to swerve. Yes. Okay. I'm turning to the right. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a GM intervention on you. Frick. I'm going to make you swerve to the right. I'm going to make you hit something like a fire hydrant with a car. An old lady crossing the road. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing my seatbelt. Um, so I need to know, I need a, I still need a speed check from you. Actually, I need a might check from you. I need to see if you can, you can might over the servitor in his driving. Because he's got both hands on the wheel and you're trying to jerk the car away from him. Okay, well, I'm going to drop some effort into this then. Because basically, you're going to hit the fire hydrant, but I need to know if you jerk it enough to dodge the rocket. I mean, mm. is it is it possible I could also get an asset because I'm also fairly dexterous, and so being able to actually grab it without, a, you know, quickly and I get what you're going really... for, but unfortunately it's not a question of you grabbing the wheel so much as overpowering a oh, no, no. mechanical I'm s- But I'm surprising him in, in the endeavor of me grabbing it to to gain the advantage in pulling it. Yeah, but he's he's partially not human, so it's not really surprising to him. I, I like what you're doing. Yeah, you can really surprise servitors. Yeah, like if you, if it was a normal human being, I'd give it to you in a minute. But this guy, he's already kind of like half human already, so the concept of surprise does not exist for a said servitor. Yeah, that was worth a try. Right, there we go. Oh wait, 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 wait. Nah. There we go. Not terrible. Yeah, you'll miss the rocket. Yay. So, yeah, you you slam straight into, I'm going to say, like, kind of like one of the overhead lights, like a classic, Mm -hmm. like, you know, like, light on the corner kind of thing, and your car just wham! Um, Because you did that, everyone takes two damage. Your armor does not reduce that. Out of our might pool? Out of your might pool. This is basically the impact, the the, uh, the sudden and abrupt stop. That you all go through. And I also need an initiative from all of you. Mm. Okay. If I'm not trained in an initiative, just flat speed, right? Oh, I have that. Never mind. Shit. Hey, Wait. we get the turn order uh, box. Uh, am I supposed to be trained in initiative, or is that just there so I have a macro to click? 
You should just have it there. It shouldn't be okay, trained, cool. though. It should be just be... Cool. Yeah, I'm not trained. You're good. Holy shit, Jay. You're training three in initiative? Apparently. Oh, no. Training gives you a plus three. I thought that meant that you had, like, three levels of training. Hey, those look like robots. <laughs> uh, I totally need Is to the red our car? how to put people into the initiative order. I'm assuming the guy up top above us is a servitor? Hold on. I'm trying to remember how to so do this. Intersection and the red is our car and the black is probably other cars. Yep. Hey, Versi. Huh. Um, at some point, would you be willing to give us access to the document that allows us to like, or the documents that you we have access to on the island campaign? The cheat sheet. The cheat sheets. I can give that to you guys right yeah, now. Steve, I have I can it, give it to so. you right now. And I'll put a link. We'll do that. Well, I try to remember how to do these turn orders. Otherwise, I'm just going to be running That should down. work for you guys. After Did that work? I do not have permission. Oh, all right. Never mind. Uh, yeah, all I got is access to it. Maybe I can yeah. download it. And... No. It's probably easier for John to just give it to you. Hold on. Chica, J. Bad guys. Okay. Okay. So... Totally don't remember turn order, so we're going to just skip that for now. I kept track of it. Okay, so you guys crash into it. You all are in the car at the moment. Well, do you want to give them access to the cheat sheet so that they can be a little more efficient in combat? Because uh, my, yeah. my link didn't work. That we didn't have permission. Sorry, I completely forgot about it till just now. Yeah, it's pretty useful, though. You're right. That looks like a servitor. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> you mean the dude slightly north of us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Might be the dude that fired the rocket. So there should be a shot like in that car guy. across the way. Hmm. Did you see that, Zach? Yes, I did. Sweet Ghibli giblets. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first up on the list is Cecil. You're riding shotgun. You guys are all technically in the car at this point, so technically you're like... Uh, which one's yes. the... Gotcha. So I gotta get out of the car, apparently. Is that the um, servitor that's up up north, by the way, in the by the black box? That's the one that shot at you with the rocket. Oh, that's the rocket, bro. That's the rocket, bro. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to climb out of the car. Um, which I'm assuming takes up my two movement, which means I then can either move or do something at this point, right? Um, I'm going to say, just for argument's sake with this, the the car... No, that, yeah, the car would be a full action, but you could also... You could move and, and open the car door, because it's kind of quick to open a car door. Okay. But um... opening the car door prevents you from doing comp, like shooting at someone. I gotcha. I mm. gotcha. Hmm. Because technically you're like unstrapping yourself from the the seat belt and hopping out of the car and drawing a weapon and moving. What's the status of the car right now? Fucked. Okay. Good to know. That's why it's red. It be fucked. What? Okay. What's the status of the servitor driver? Fucked. Um. <laughs> He seems to be okay, but, like, maybe something short-circuited in him in some way, shape, or form. Like, he's, like, he, like, right on, like, slammed the shit out of the steering wheel. Like, kind of, like, chest-bumped okay. it, so he's a so little bit So not dead, but out of commission. Yeah. 
And nor was he ever like a combat servitor of any sort either. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna move. Um, to stay. Can I move here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd let you do okay. that. Okay. Okay. Because I think that'd be my two squares that I could move. Yep. So. Yeah, you could totally move the immediate, and and you can also draw weapons. Are you drawing any weapons? I'm totally pulling my pistol out. Okay, so you got the pistol out. Awesome. Um, Jay. Um, I will go right there. Obviously. And go there. Okay. And are you drawing any weapons? And pull out my weapon. Okay. So, bad guy's turn. Give me one second. I gotta check distances on some of these guys. If they shoot at me, am I harder to hit because I'm still in the car? Yes. Sweet. it easy. Um, so the big guy, the guy that shot the rocket, you see him kind of like push the rocket to the side and he reaches behind him and he grabs what seems like some kind of machine gun type instrument and he just starts wailing into the car, like the side of the car um, in some way, shape, or form to kind of just hit everyone that might still be in there. So that's leaning towards, like, Steven and the Servitor. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to have... Um, you're going to have... Like, you're going to have two assets to cover. Because you're actually, like, inside. Have a metal door between you and it. Okay. So hit so, speed. So I need from you a speed check. And with, an acid, with an acid of two. And okay, so I beat you difficulty seven. He better be a damn good shot. Oh, let me switch over. Oh yeah. Um. So if anything, actually, like from him, like slamming into the door, the door actually like, like, opens a little bit. So like, you actually have an easier time getting out now. So okay. I'm um. Gonna, like, and do that. Is that my minor effect, or do I get to? have a minor effect on that's him, your minor effect just... is that basically okay. the door cool. is is open for you already um oh, however so i can move two squares however the servitor gets ripped up from you in front of you like you can see like bullets slam through yeah. the window on the side and just rip into them and blood splatters mm -hmm. the whole side of the car um the other guy this guy right here is going to move right there, and he's going to shoot over the back of the hood at Cecil. I need a defense check from you, and the guy down below, the one guy that can actually hit anyone, um, it, one one defense towards Cecil and one defense on Bajarn. Cecil might be getting popped. What level are these guys? <laughs> Do they uh, they beat a six? Yes, that does. You do succeed um, against him. So, Wait, my six beats him? Yep, that one, yep. Which was That was this guy right here, right? Yep. And the guy who was unloading into the car was this guy? Yep. Okay, just making sure I was clear on that. Um, and I still need one from Bjarn. There you go. Beats it. No problem. You're both safe. Um, Steven. Yes. Your turn. So I can move here and then complete an action, right? So because the door actually, like, opened for you, mm -hmm. you can do, like, an actual combat action if you only move two squares from where you were. Okay. So, so I move two squares. So you can, can I... move... Hold on. So you can move... So you're here. Yeah. Yeah. The car actually takes like a bunch of squares, so that's one. And then you could do like there for your two. Oh, I can't diagonal. Okay, yeah, you that's can't fine. diagonal, that's fine. but you could you can hit him now if you when you mm -hmm. draw a weapon if you have like a melee weapon. 
Um, I think that I would rather draw my Eldar Blade and pop my Magnetic Shield Cypher. Okay. Awesome. That'll be your full turn, then, to draw your Blade and pop yeah. the Cypher. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, so so, now so you, you kind of reach of in and you, you grab this, this weird mechanical instrument that uh, that you, 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 what is, this is, I guess this one's actually Eldar Cypher, so like, is this like, what does this look like comparative to like your normal human Cypher? Um, it's this a is small, Eldar. it's a, it's a rage bone, um, device that I kind of pop and I slap it onto my, my armor and it seems to, mole it molecularly bonds to the armor and the armor shimmers a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, no, it totally So happens. it's like a little bone white design device. Cool. Yeah. So you, you definitely do that. So now you have a one defense against everything metal. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's how it works. Well, and... melee attacks are harder to hit, and ranged attacks I get like one armor if they hit me. Yeah, it, it's one armor okay. if if uh, range attack hits you, and then if it's melee, it's just straight up hard to hit because it's literally pushing it out of your way. Makes sense. Um, Pika, you, right back to you. What is Cecil doing? Okay, so first top dude got hit or something, or no one's been hit yet. No one's been hit yet. One, two. Except for the dead mm. servitor in the car. He shall be missed. Um, he will be missed. Rip yellow servitor. One, two. I'm a papa sucker. Okay. Range attack. Booyah, Matatraga. Difficulty three with a one. That's enough to hit, so you do three damage. Three damage. Okay, so so yeah, you you this is a las, las gun stun. Oh, stub revolver. Yeah, you fire stub. a full on bullet right into the side of him. You see it impact him and like probably like the rib area a little bit, but unfortunately he seems to be unconcerned about this hit. In, in some fashion, even though that would be a, a very painful wound for a normal human being. Jay. Interesting. So, would it be possible for me to, like, hack either of them? Are they either of them robotic? That yeah, you could totally that? hack them, but you'd have to be next to them. Ah. Oh, okay. Because basically you need to do so a physical manual plug-in to them. Closer. To do that. Okay. I see. So I'll move closer and then pop them with my laser pistol. Okay. Uh, roll the hit for laser last pistol. And we'll see what happens. Not enough. Yeah, you fire the shot, but like he he's kind of realizing that like he's getting a little bit overwhelmed, and he he quickly dodges out of the way when the last pistol shoots by him. bad oh, okay. guys no, he's gonna go one two and he is going to spray his machine gun at the two frontmost so i need um, speed defense malgan and cecil i need a dodge roll from all of you mm -hmm. Do you want him? yeah he's here does he hit me he hits both of you Take six damage minus your armor. If you have the shield, the metal shield, then make sure you apply that armor too. So then I take three damage. Okay. Yeah. So so nice. he he quickly backpedals and you see him just grab the front of like what looks like an M60 and hold it like like in a, like this like metallic arm and he pulls the trigger with the other one and the arm just holds the entire gun still like almost no recoil whatsoever. It's just jerking backwards. And he just swings it from left to right, mowing across the two of you with his yeah. his gun. And you feel the bullet slam into your armor. Your armor deflects some of it, but you can feel like some of it, like like the just sheer force of these bullets impacting your body and hurting you. Um, the one guy. Hmm, how are they wanting to do this? I need to know how far they can run, and they turn. Uh, perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, 
Fuck these cars. <laughs> oh, frick. These two guys run up. That's their full turn, though. However, the other guy that's at the car, he's going to still fire. Actually, um, Steven, you're closer. He's going to fire at you, so I need another speed check to dodge a pistol -y type weapon that's being fired at you. I'm assuming that uh, the magnet causes that to miss or something of that nature. Oh, you just straight up died. That the difficulty five yeah. that you just rolled? Yeah. Yeah, it, it careens. So like it it impacts like the, the side of your shoulder and the magnet just kind of like shimmers and shoves the bullet off to the side, up into the air cool. somewhere. Oh, um, frick. I don't know why I didn't think of doing this sooner. Malgan, your turn. So I cannot move this far because that would be two diagonals? Yeah. Correct. Two it's diagonals three, is So three. I can't get within... Okay. Um, it's specifically why he stepped back that far is because mm -hmm. no one can really run that. So if I move here, do I have cover from this car against these two dudes at the bottom of it? Like, is it um, hard for them to hit me? This guy will have no trouble. But the other guy will. The other guy will. That'll be counting okay, as cover cool. for you. Well, the other two will, right? Because this guy down here, he'll have no problem hitting yeah. you because he's shooting over the back oh. end of the car. Okay, cool. Um, then I want to try and onslaught the uh, robot zombie guy, or the robot, the rocket launcher guy. Okay. And what's that do again? So that I attack a foe within short range using energies that assail his physical form. If the attack is physical, you emit a force blast array of force that inflicts four, four points of damage. Okay, so you're trying to psychically fuck someone up. Yeah. So is that like an int roll or something? Um. So yeah. It, wait. I am not as familiar with your character as the others. Onslaught. So you still make an attack roll. Mm -hmm. Technically, it would be like, oops, um, not that. My intellect, it would be like that. Damage. Or cost one. That's for the physical. Yeah. yeah. But because I have an int edge, that's for a free attack. And then you would have another one. That would be two. So. Yeah, that, and that would be um, two intellect instead of. Oh, you're putting physical in. Okay, cool. So I'll hit my macro for physical. Yep, that should work for your character. And this is against two? The um, well, it's against the big guy, so I just missed. Yeah, totally missed. So so you hit that, and unfortunately, like probably because in some way, shape, or form, he's he has less mind to him than usual. Like, you aren't able to psychically hurt him because he's already kind of mm. like half there in some way, shape, or form. So, yeah, you try okay. to do that damage and it just doesn't it doesn't connect with his brain. You're not able to get in through it. Cecil! Isn't it Bjorn's turn? No, I think it's you and then Jay and you then the back and then, then Bjorn. Okay. Okay, then. Um... Well, frick, I'm getting melted here. Yeah, I am too. We gotta go out of the harm's way. Just apply a fire. Okay, so I got one, two, and I'm gonna pop that sucker right there. Which sucker? That one. Yeah, you totally hit. How much damage? Yeah, uh, one. Three? Three. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. How much like does these guys have? Okay, cool. Yeah, so you, you, you crack off another shot from your revolver. Um, he tries to duck behind the car, but he actually kind of ducks into the bullet as he tries to do so. And, like, it slams him, like, straight in the chest. And you see a gout of blood pop out the front of his chest from, from the shot. 
Um, you hear a little bit guy. of a whoo from him, but like he doesn't seem to react too much from the actual Sweet. shot. Okay, now Bjorn. Okay, so I see the guy run up to our car, mm -hmm. and I start focusing on him. So I go back south and mm -hmm. pop him with my laser pistol. Awesome. Yeah, roll roll to hit. Do you need to do a full action to activate your speaking thing that helps all of us, or? Yeah, because it, it's yeah, a yeah, conscious a thing that he has to spend his time okay, in, okay. invoking. But after that, it doesn't take a full action to maintain it. Luckily, that's still a hit. That does two okay. damage to him, all right? All right. Yeah, so so you, you shoot off a shot. Um, unfortunately, you, you tried for center mass, but after, like, doing two hood jumps over the car, like, you're a little bit tired and, like... You're not as good as the Dukes of Hazard for doing it, so you you kind of catch him in the arm a little bit, and it singe, definitely singes the shit out of his arm, but definitely not where you intended, you know, considering you kind of want to hit him in the head or the chest. Um, mm -hmm. Bad guys at that point. Yikes, this is an hurt. Oops. There we go. One, two... Um, I need Cecil and BR, or uh, Cecil and, uh, yep. what's the new guy? Malgan. I need you both to roll a, a speed check. Ah. You totally dodge. You guys don't die. Cool. Cecil, you get hit. Six damage minus your armor. Well, taken from my speed pool now. Okay, so, um, on your character sheet... You're going to see next to your recovery rolls, you're going to see another box. Damage track? Yeah, it's called yeah. damage track. You're impaired okay, now? Or... Um, so now you're impaired. And what that does is it, it basically gives you a negative asset to everything you try to do now. Damn. So maybe take your whole next turn so you could you, so if you're trying to get out of that what you can do is just like move two as a free action because you can always move two and then spend your entire action giving yourself an additional 1d6 and pump that back into your hp to pull yourself out of the um, impaired the impaired section oh goody okay um now it's the other guy's turns um the one near Bjarn, he's going to step one side to the, or one a little bit to the back of the car, and you're going to see him, like, he, he's try, he like looks for a second at you, then looks at the car, and then you see him, like, stick his metal claw into the car, and you hear this crunch and then a creak, and then the, the back of the trunk opens. And so he doesn't shoot at you. So he has a goal here. We need to probably stop him from getting whatever's in this the trunk. This guy right here, he's going to shoot at... Um, Malgan. So I need a speed check. Actually, speed. both of them are. Um, so this guy, I need two speed checks. We'll do this guy first, this guy second, but the second guy you have cover from. Oh, you clean both. They, yeah, they, they, yeah, they, they both whip over you. Unfortunately, they're they're trying to shoot you, and you duck, and you're you're doing your Eldari like teleportation, smooth grace of of doom, and so they're not Fantastic. able to hit you. All right. Um, now that they're good done, now it's your turn. Alright, I'm gonna move here, and I can stab the shit out of this guy, right? Oh yeah, go for it. Actually, maybe I want to shock his ass. Since he's a robot, would my shock do more damage than it usually does? I don't know, you want to try out and find it? Try and find out? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rather than hitting him with my blade, I'm gonna try and... Just kind of reach out and fill him with electricity. Okay, so you're going to try to physically, like, grab a hold of him and shock the shit out of him? Yeah, what do I roll to do that? And I want it's to spend It's a physical two... check. Um, just give me a strength check, or a might check. Wait, that wouldn't be intellect because it's a magic thing? I, all I have to do is make contact with him. Yeah, that's, that's what might. you're doing. Is, is you're Actually, speed. Because you're, you're trying to okay. dexterously grab a hold of him. Okay, so I can use three to make it more likely that I do that? Yes. I'm putting an effort? Okay, I'm yep. putting an effort. So. Okay, so knock off three from your pool, add one to the effort, and give me a speed roll. Yeah, I did. Uh, so you rolled a six? Yeah. With the difficult... Not enough. 
you, you like... Ugh, I just wasted three effort. Yeah, so you reach out to grab him, and I think, like, probably, like, in part of him trying to dodge away as he sees your hand crackle with lightning, but also your your force field against metal pushes your hand back a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, like, where you would have connected between him, like, jerking back and the push, it slowed you down just enough that you you almost brush him. But you, like, miss just, un just was enough. My, was my magnetic shield actually a negative against me, or is that just flavor? Uh, it's just flavor. Okay, cool. I wasn't going to charge you for that. <laughs> Um, Cecil. Okay, quick question. So yes. how does this artifact work? Ooh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so basically your entire turn is activating it. Mm-hmm. Um, you already know how it works, so basically you need to choose a direction, and I will fill in up to, well, basically 30 feet in a line of choice, your choice in the Is area. it direct? Is it directly from me? It has to stem from you in some way, shape, or form. So, like, like let's say you wanted to hit both these guys at the same time at the back, like over here. Yeah. If you aimed here, it would create a re a thirty line, thirty foot line across them. So, like, basically, you you to hit them, you might not deliberately point at them because you're trying to create the firewall to as it expands to hit them. You know what I'm kind of saying? So you're saying that I want to aim... You would aim here, so that it creates a line, exactly, a line like that. Okay, so what if I aimed here, and it went there? Yeah, we could do that. Because so basically the... I'm just going to draw a fiery line. Because that hits all three of those guys. So you're kind of going at... Like that? That would hit them all. Like what? I didn't see anything. You don't see that line? No. We don't see I don't see a line either. Okay, it might just show up. There we go. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So like something like that, kind of. That's what I'm aiming for. So is it like they're taking damage and it's harder for them to hit us through that or something? So basically what he's trying to do is he's just trying to land a line of fire to cause that. So what I need from you though is it's still an accuracy rule because you're basically pulling the staff out and you're trying to accurately aim it so that you can create this line of fire. Okay, so uh, speed roll. Yes. Correct? Yes. And I also need you to roll a 1d20 for me to make sure to see if it... Okay, so yes, you do create it. Bam! Look at that. Not depleted. I don't need... It already tells you and everything. I love that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So, yeah, your your, your staff still works. So, so you grab a hold of it. Do any of you know Harry Dresden books? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, like, you know how, like, when he activates his staff, how the runes light up along, along the staff? Like, when he when he does his, uh, his fuego? Like, that's mm -hmm. what this staff does. Like, he, he clicks the button... And and where you thought it was actually wood, it's actually this is actually a stone staff, and and mm -hmm. from the etchings along it, just it suddenly you you feel like you you hear this hum from inside of it, and then from the front you just see this gout of flame hit the area, and then just it just opens up in like a straight line across the section and ignites all three of them into this inferno. We fuck them. So I'm assuming I still I can't move now, right? Nope. <laughs> you can move two spots. Because that yep. you can always do for free. That was okay. basically that's your attack. Um There we go. Awesome. So I'm glad I gave that crude an artifact now. <laughs> yeah, right? The only reason I gave it that is because we talked about it when we were designing that fight, and we talked about it being able to do mm -hmm. the firewall. I was so terrified during that fight, I'm like, I swear to God, if this firewall hits my orc, I'm gonna be fucked! Yeah. <laughs> that cog won't die? What are you talking about? I don't know, you spent a lot of points in that fight. <laughs> okay, um, also, 
I think at this point, whose turn is it? It's Bjarn's? Yeah, it should um, be. Okay, um, before your turn, I'm going to have a GM intervention on you. I'm going to make a car mm -hmm. show up with two more of these guys. How how robotic are they? Are they hopping out like amped up mobsters, or are they like full blown, like almost servitors? Think more like robotic mobsters than servitors. Okay. These are so these are like these are leading more towards augments. human beings with augmentations to them than servitors that have been lobotomized and shit like that. Okay, makes sense. However, um, Bjorn, I need you to quickly uh, because you now have this this <clears throat> bad situation. I need you to give one of the three people in your party an XP. Uh, um, I'll go ahead and give it to Morgan. Okay, Thank so Morgan, you, you get one more XP. I'm going to write that shit down. Awesome. Oh. And um, so... Tokens. This guy is gonna get the fuck out of dodge from the flame. He's running. I'm, oh, okay, good. I'm moving guys out of the flame at the moment. That's Hold on. Hey, you can't move my wall. I put it there. <laughs> <laughs> my wall. Um, I'm gonna say that this guy, for all intents and purposes, right mm. here, he's gonna still get burned by the fire. Okay. So he's actually, he's, he's pretty, he's pretty cooked. He's a, he's a, what do they call it, a Philadelphia steak? Burned on the outside, raw on the inside? Oh. Is that a Philadelphia that steak? Called? Pittsburgh, yeah, Pittsburgh steak. Yeah, that's thank you, is. that's it. Pittsburgh steak. Yeah, he's kind of looking like a Pittsburgh steak right now. Um... Nice crusty sear. Yeah, so, um, Bjarn, I need you to roll three defense checks for me. Cecil, I need you to roll one defense check for me. This guy is going to one, two. Uh, it was still my turn. Oh, oh it is shit. his turn. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. We're going to come back to that. Yeah. Go ahead and do Did your that your dude who isn't going into the trunk get what he wanted out of the yeah, trunk? Still move him before. No, 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 because that's their turn, not your turn. So you just know what they're going to do beforehand. So you get on X, you can see the future limited. <laughs> yeah, I'll put those guys to approximately where they were so I can move them without having to move the fire line. So, Bjarn, what do you plan on doing? Okay. Basically, the so, entire back of the car is now on fire. Can I move here? Absolutely. And can I hack this guy? Like, change his targeting system or something? Yeah, I need a speed check to see if you can plug into him because basically you're going to try to like reach out and okay. stab him with your your USB if anyone watched the mastermind game he's stabbing him with his USB penis I would say um oh yeah I'll say it's like but he's not Nate yeah <laughs> um, unfortunately that's not good enough like you're probably like shirking a little bit away from the flames as well as everything else. So like Rats. And he's like wiggling around and, and it's it's like behind him and like his neck probably. So yeah, you, you unfortunately you're not able to get a good maybe you tried to plug your USB in, but in like I'm classic not able to action hack the you plugged it into the wrong That's direction true. and you needed to really like flip <laughs> it hundred and eighty degrees and, and so like it didn't go in when you tried. So, good good attempt there. Uh, uh. Um, so, now on our turn, the characters move to where they did. So, that's where they go. Um, he was there. He's actually going to move there. Um, so, Jay, now I'll make you roll three defense checks. Cecil, you roll one. And um, you roll two. The first one's going to be the big guy that you're next to, and he's going to move over there. Okay, so I need two speed checks. Yep, two speed checks for uh, Malgan. Fuck you, bro. Oh. <laughs> I did right, say the so first one was the big guy. Yeah, I think the first one was the big guy, yeah. 
I have, uh, they, if I rolled a one, the little guy still hits me. Okay, so... So do we want to just take care of my guy now, and then we'll do, like, we'll do it I'm person by person? I'm looking at them all, so... Jay, I'm still missing your rules. Right? Uh, yeah, Skype's okay. dropping me out of the call. Oh, you need to roll three speed defense, Jay. How many rolls? Three. Okay. Pika's typing them. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Look at that problem solving. No, no. Yes. Thank you, Zach. Okay. Um, Bjarn, you take four damage and four damage minus your armor. Steven, the guy up top, he, he sees you ch coming at him and he goes to pull the trigger. And as he pulls the trigger, he jams his gun. Ha ah, fuck you. That's my major effect. That's your major effect is his gun jams. Yeah. So he has totally to spend cool an entire that. turn on jamming his gun to try to get him back into the fight. And then he tries okay. to, like, backpedal a little bit as he's, like, trying to, like, jimmy it out and fix it. The other guy, um, he does uh, he does catch you off guard a little bit and pops a shot. You take four minus your armor. Um, it's metal, oh, so it's still metal to hit because you rolled a zero. You rolled a two to beat a zero. Well, I have a one because of my. So That's one arm. I, I tech, That's one arm. I, no, I roll. I rolled to beat a one. I mean. Oh. What? Because I. Oh no, you're right. I don't get an asset to not get hit. Yeah, you get an armor. Yeah, no, 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 no. Asset against okay. melee. Okay. Armor okay, cool, against cool, bullets. Cool. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So then I have. Okay, cool. I'm good. Um, and Pika, yours beats it. So you he takes a big swipe with like a, a kind of like a bladed claw at you, and you quickly duck under the way without much issue. Um, and let's see, that was Bjorn. Then their turn. Um, before, uh, before Maugen shows up, you hear right here I come. And the, you hear like, <laughs> goom, 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 and Nekog comes barreling out of nowhere, and sl oh, where did I? There we go. And he slams right into this guy and just grabs him like around the waist with his power claw, holds him up, and just in in like mid air, you see you hear the the whine of the power claw and him like trisect this dude right around the middle. Good old Nekog. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear him go hey. he, you hear it like as the like like the guy's like like at this point like this guy is screaming as like these blade this bladed claw cuts soon to him and and like like he's like like the blood's just squirting everywhere it's like showering all over mech hug this is the first time that like at least uh Malgan's seen anything like this like you can see this over the car because like mech Cog's huge he's holding the dude up like this dude's like eight and a half yeah. feet in the air getting chopped like everyone sees this like as yeah, Metcog comes I'm gonna shout in. to Cecil uh, I can see why you tolerate him <laughs> and, 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 and and then like you hear him go your blood tastes so good and like that's his turn as he just basically cuts the fuck out of that dude Shows that came up, up out of nowhere yeah. he does keep things entertaining yeah <laughs> um so now it is uh, Malgan's turn Okay, um, do I want to try and shock this fucker again? Can I, as a free action, could I uh, telepathically contact Amberly's astropath and say, um, like, give her a quick message, like, hey, we've been attacked, or would that cost me an action? No, that's free. You could do that. Okay. So, yeah, I'll send her astropath a message. Um, someone doesn't want us here. Our, our group has come under attack. We're currently and, in combat. Uh, Basically... Yeah. Okay. And then I don't know if I should try and stab this fucker or shock him again or what. I think I'm gonna try and shock touch him again. Okay. So. And that was speed, speed check. Yep. Oh, that clears it. Yeah. How much damage? No, I, I didn't roll anything. Oh, that was Jay. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna expend effort again. Okay. 
Why did I spend Damn. effort? Damn! <laughs> Can I say I was expending effort to do more damage? <laughs> no, unfortunately, you yeah. already said it. So. I know. But you get a major effect now. Yeah. So you get a more, more hell out of him. Seven damage. So, or you could do a ton of damage. So you're not going to kill him. I'll, t I'll give you that right up front. I'm going to let you know that. Unless... So, so basically you get two options. You can do four more damage, mm -hmm. or you can cause a major effect. Would the major effect be that he's not able to move? He also loses his pool cost, so he does, loses the effort cost. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, you don't get to you get the effort back because you rolled a 20. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks for man. reminding me about that, Zach. I totally Beautiful forgot man. about that. 20s give you back your pool. Sweet. But just the three I spent, not any extra. Yeah, yeah, just the okay. amount that you spent. So, that yeah, you get that back. So, do you want to do four more damage, or do you want to cause an effect? You're not going to tell me what the major effect would be. You get to tell me. It. Basically, you know how there's that, that, that damage okay. conversion chart on your cheat sheet? So then, can I say that... Um... He actually doesn't have the damage conversion on this cheat sheet. It's, it's there. Yeah. It's in the bottom left on one of the pages. Major oh, there's effect. more pages. That okay. so I want to say that um, I shock him for the three damage, and it seizes up his electronics, and he's stunned for the next turn. Absolutely, you totally could do so that. That would mean, page that, three, would mean that next turn he's stunned, and then the turn after that he needs to unjam his weapon. So there's two yep. turns until he can attack again. Yeah. Um, also, okay. because this is electricity, and he does have robotic parts, he takes an additional two damage from your shock. So I do five damage to so him. So you do five stunned. damage to him. Fuck yeah. Suck my dick, robot man. Try and shoot me again. Yeah, and, and and yeah. So like, you totally like you reach out, and I think like probably you just grab a hold of the front of the gun, and the shock shoots up the gun into his hands, and one of his hands is robotic, and then that just goes, and like you just watch the electricity travel through his entire body. Kind of smells like hamburger. It's really nice. Kind of makes you hungry a little bit if you weren't a vegan. You know, like I made mm -hmm. that joke up. I don't know if if. Eldar are vegans. I think I think they're vegetarian. I think yeah. they're they're I don't know I'm pretty sure. sure they're vegans. <coughs> awesome. <laughs> happy. Man, that beer is um... strong. No. <laughs> okay, back to the beginning of the round. Uh, Cecil. Okay, how's so, the how, how's the guy bo just below me looking? Pittsburgh steak. Last leg of life. Pretty toasted. When does he take the fire damage? His turn. his turn. Beginning or end of his turn? Beginning. And he's in the fire currently. Yes. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to do a recovery roll. <laughs> okay. Come on, recovery roll. Ouch. Two. Oh, I get... Throw them into your might so that you can get out of yes. the uh, impaired impaired section. Okay, there we go, and I can move two. So that's uh, hmm. I'm assuming I can't climb into this car. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, although your your action. Yeah, you can do that because the doors are open. So I just want to climb into the back seat of the car there. Okay, keep your yeah. I was gonna say keep them outside them so there. I can see him. Um, let me grab Metcog because I actually need to make a roll for him, even though GMs are not supposed to make rolls in this game because he's gonna do something hilarious if he pulls it off. <laughs> so what's his initiative? Where is he in the turn order? I make him go immediately before you and after the. Okay, so he's just part of the NPCs. He he's an NPC, but he comes after the NPCs because he yeah. showed up after. Yeah, showed yeah. up after. Okay. Oh, is he gonna flip the car onto the guy? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> ah, I was trying to think of a way I could do that, but I couldn't feasibly figure it out. My first thought yeah, was he was gonna try to push the car and sandwich the dude between the building and the car, and then I'm like, no, that would take two turns to do. But he could totally flip the shit. <laughs> He makes he's a really nice good evil. might roll. I mean, he's 1,200 pounds. He weighs as much as a car. Probably. Okay, so... <laughs> well, yarn. I believe he can do it. Your turn. You might want to get that boost. <laughs> um, I'm going to pull out my knife and stab a dude. Awesome. I like this plan. Yeah. 
If he doesn't move, can he start speaking his emperor speech? <laughs> that does it. Um, so two damage. Hey, stabbing works. Stab him in the neck. Yeah. So yeah, you give him a good hearty stab. Uh, guy, guy blurt, squirts a lot of blood. You probably like catch him like somewhere in the pectoral area. You give him a good slash. Um, but some oil too. Yeah, a little bit of blood and oil kind of squirt out of him, but he still seems to be functioning pretty well at that point. On the bad guy's turn, this guy is going to stay on fire and eat death. Good job, so, Cecil. <laughs> yeah, he kind of like steps forward and, and then like steps forward and then and then like just stays on fire as the fire roasts the rest of him. And, like, because he's a robot, he doesn't quite know he's dead until he's been dead for a minute. So he just kind of, like, Terminators forward and yeah, jumps exactly. flat. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hey, this guy's stunned. He doesn't get to do anything. Wait, wait, wait. I, I would like to use a free action at this point in time, if yeah. it's possible. Yeah. Please I would like to quote, quote a certain governator and say, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, the other guy is going to shoot. So we have two guys shooting at Bjarn. One guy shooting at Malgan, so speed checks. All and right. the one guy is frozen and twitching right now, an electrical bolt. Ooh, he just popped me. Oh, no, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, he popped me because it's not a melee. Yeah, so you take so he does four minus your armor. It's a bullet, yeah. so you get an... Hey, there we go. Additional from your magnetic shield. Yeah. I'm good. The first one, that's the second one. Awesome. So, yeah, the, the, the first guy, um, as he swings to at Bjarn, Bjarn ducks and his metal claw slams into the car, and then his claw gets caught in the car. Trying to, like, and he's, like, trying to, like, jimmy it out of the car, and he can't get it out. The other guy, though, um, he fires at Bjarn, and, and probably they happen, like, insuccinctly. Like, he aims at Bjarn, and when Bjarn dodges from the claw, he also dodges the bullet. And so, like, there's glass above his head that shatters from the, the window as the bullet, like, flings into where his head would be from the other guy. Um, Mekog! Awesome. Right! He's roll well. I want to see this. <laughs> um, here we go. Mechog, Mechog character sheet. Um, I'm gonna say that he reasonably could have a skill in smashing for this because he's essentially <laughs> going Smash. revolt he style. Spent yeah, and oh, he spent the effort. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, that's plenty. With wait, one difficult. It should have been two. So, oh yeah, it did say two. So yeah, that's yeah, technically a six. He goes. I'm going to have you for jelly on my toast. And he reaches under and he literally like just flips the car. The car kind of like lifts out of the air for a second before like doing the 180 that it needs to do and just squishes on top of the second dude. <laughs> he literally needed a six, just to be fair. Like, I'm like, oh, that's not going to... Wait, he gets two. Like, it's okay. <laughs> oh, wait, it was difficulty six. It was a difficulty six to flip that car. Oh, look at that. Um, which is technically an intimidating check. Which, flipping a car is reasonably intimidating for most people. Normal people almost never succeed, you know? Yeah. I mean, formidable would have been also a kind of thing, but I would have probably leaned that towards, like, a heavier car. Like, if it was, like, yeah. a truck, it would have been, like, a formidable. So that was Metcog's turn. Metcog's been doing great! Yeah. Right -o. Yeah. Now it's right my turn again, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so, um, do I have an asset to hit him because he's stunned? Absolutely. So, do I want to try and knife him? Or do I want to try and shock him again? My knife does three damage. Oh, no, I want to try and shock him again because that does extra damage. So I need to do a speed roll, right? Yep, that's an asset, a uh, free asset for... Yeah. Shit. <laughs> minor effect or an additional two damage? Um, I mean, what can I do as a minor effect? Let me check the rules sheet. Um, Ignore minor, armor. Minor would basically part. be anything. Where's my cheat sheet? 
Miter would basically be anything from a damage 3 or less versus the 4, 7, or 8 on the trading damage for effect list. So you well, my strike held my... object, move past, knock down, or knock back, strike specific body part, or hinder him with that minor effect. I think I might just want to do the extra damage, because that would be 7 damage, right? Um, so 3 damage plus the 2, because it's five. electricity plus 2, so it would be 7 damage. Yeah. And does my electricity ignore his armor because it's electrical? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, seven damage to that asshole. I want to just grab the sides of his head and, like, flood him with electricity. Is everybody frozen or... Okay. I don't know. Yeah, you do that and literally, like, the meat in his eyes just, like, pops out from his skull, like, as you do that. Wait, is he blind now? No, he dies. But like oh, as you yeah. as you take both your hands and you smack it on the sides of his head and jolt his brain with electricity, the electric like power from it pops his eyes. Because I didn't know how wounded he was, I can't like hold back and just knock him unconscious. Or is Ooh. it like Chaos Gate and I can knock him unconscious? Nope. You you'd have to say that prior. Like, by the way, I'm not trying to kill him. Oh, okay. And then do sense. it versus like doing it and then be like. Well, in character, I was trying to knock him unconscious, but I get overzealous and I pop his brain. Yeah, yeah, that that's probably how it worked. Is this? Yeah. Oh, human bodies are so much weaker than Eldar. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like kind of thing. Pop goes the weed. That sucks. I wish I had thought about that before that because that would have been a perfect opportunity to get some information. He's the leader, and I could have just straight up stunned him. Yeah. Okay, so right. Zach's turn. So are both doors of this car open? So is like this this door open over here? Um. Yes, that car is that door is open. So I have a direct line of sight to this guy. Absolutely. So I'm just gonna shoot him. Okay. Um, He's not expecting you to shoot him from in there either. So you get an asset, right? <laughs> yeah, I'd consider it a surprise. No one's expecting you to shoot from the inside of a car. I think it's fair. Something I wanted to. You said they're on page three. Yeah, I didn't see that either. I saw the minor effects right there. There it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Here's the roll. Oh, wait. Assets. Damn. 19. So I get a minor effect or plus 3 damage. So I'm just going to go for the plus 3 and just hit him for 6. Awesome. Yeah. And... Down he goes. Yeah, so Don't you're leaning there. Shot. You take that extra little bit of effort using the cushions as kind of like a, a steady for your shot, and you fire it off. Bam! Smacks him right in the side of the temple. He kind of does this one a little... And then just boom. <laughs> awesome. So uh, we should probably try and get that last dude alive since... We've got this under control now, right? Definitely seems under control. Macron <laughs> might not be under control, but by God, yeah. everything else is. Uh, Jay, what is Bjarn doing? Try and hack him again. Stabby, 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 stabby. stabby. Stabby, stabby. He is hacking him with his knife. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Oh, yeah. That definitely hits. Um, okay, he's still standing. He seems barely at the edge of, of his, his ability at this point, though. He's kind of like, like oil and blood seems dripping down his body. A lot of it scorched from from the flames on you know the, of the fire, the inferno wall. But he still seems to be uh, doing it. Maybe, maybe use a free action to warn Mechog not to tear this dude's head off, so we can interrogate him. Uh, yeah, I warn Mechog not to do that. Don't kill him. I need to question him, Mechog. Okay. Um, on the bad guy's turn, he looks over at Mechog. He looks at Bjarn, and he's going to try to bolt like hell. Let me figure out how far he can run.
He gets to there. Running as fast as he humanly can. Um, Metcog looks over at you and he goes, But, but boss! And like, like you see him, like he has his 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 like giant orky like pistol, like which is basically like probably like 60, 70 pounds of gun pointed at him. He's like, he's like, I can get him. And like he's looking at you, like he's like, eh, eh. And he's like, just aim for his foot. Oh, I get it. Make him scream, and he fires a shot. Um, let me see if Mechog overdoes it, though. <laughs> Make him scream. We'll do effort, because Mechog's hilarious, and... Still the flesh wound. Also, he wants to, uh, prove his worth to Bjorn, who <laughs> left him stuck on the ship. <laughs> he hits the car, doesn't he? He, he, he fires it, and, like, you hear it jam, and goes, he goes, What? And he looks, and like as he like goes to like open it, he he it accidentally like as he tilts it, he fires it. And Bjorn, I need you to make a speed roll test. Oh, frick. <laughs> oh crap! Oh, not enough. Yeah. So like he like turns and he looks at it, and as he like pulls the hammer, like he can like realize it jams, and he goes. Ow. And, like, it slips out of his hand for a second, and when it slides closed, his finger's already gripped on the trigger because he had, he never took a gun class, and he never knew that you were supposed to take your finger off the trigger. And so all of a sudden you hear, Koom! and, like, you just feel out of nowhere this bolt of metal <laughs> slam into you, pushing you against the car, and you take four damage from, from a shot from him, minus your armor. And this is why you don't bring him places. <laughs> To be fair, I think it's okay considering he like insta give two damage to two people. Yeah. <laughs> that's four damage. That he did one turn worth of their damage to him. I'd say that's that's probably fair <laughs> considering yeah, he just one and done two of them. And technically, that whole like them showing up would have been completely you guys without Macog unless you brought him along. Mm -hmm. So good move on the the bringing Macog. <laughs> Um, so... I know it's gonna break out. <laughs> Cecil. Uh, it's my turn, is it? Hey, no, it's... you can stop somebody from moving. Here's the thing, is I can't chase after him. How do I put the fire fucking out? firewall in the way. Or you leap through it and take four damage. Yeah, and then I'm impaired. <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go for a blind shot. I don't even care. Okay, so a negative or a minus or a plus one to your asset. So Are you this trying is a, to kill him or this is one, him again? You're just trying to maim him, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is one difficulty harder because you're trying to shoot through a giant burning inferno. So at a bonus moving to, target. Uh, bonus is single roll. Um, okay. Well, I just keep it in my mind. You don't need to. Okay, do that's, all that. that's all, um, so it's just a normal roll, but it's one difficulty harder for it, hitting him. I'm just trying to. Oh wait, no, I have a better idea. I'm gonna grapnel him. Okay. Er, yeah, because that'll at least hold him down if possible. So we're gonna drop some speed. And... Oh, let's hope this works. Not enough. Uh, no. Unfortunately, if you would have spent effort, you would have succeeded. I did spend effort. Oh, wait, I forgot to put the roll of fish. I forgot to put it in there. I did spend effort. I didn't put it in there. I didn't put it in the wait, butt. it was my turn. I go after the NPCs. Oh, you do? My bad. I'm totally... I, I, I skipped you. So, so we'll put that on pause. Everything back. he did. I... Can I use hedge magic to open the car door so when he runs, he slams into the car door? <laughs> I'd say you have to move two to like to the right of that one dead guy at the bottom, like to the left of you. So like this? Yeah, because you have to kind of establish a line of sight and yeah, you could totally open the door and have him run into it. Alright, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so so uh, on his turn he'll run into a door. Yeah. However, Cecil, it's your okay. turn now and you fire the shot. 
if I, I was with the grapnel and I did spend effort, I said I was spending effort, I just forgot to put the roll efficiency in. Okay, that's fine. So that's do you want fine. me to re-roll, or do you want me to just add it to that? To be fair, let's make you do a re-roll, because I don't remember you saying that you're going to do the effort. Okay, that is... Uh, and oh, that's cool. apply it. Okay, here we go. Which is actually kind of okay, because you have a better chance than 50-50 of getting what you roll, so... And I still have the minus one from the firewall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You grapple yourself. <laughs> it bounces off the open door and hits me in the face. Okay, so I think that, like, as you're trying to do it, something fucks up in your gun, and, like, the the grapnel shoots out and hits the ground, kind of, in, like, through the flames. Oh, no. And then it immediately triggers the, like, pull mechanism, and it yanks <laughs> you into the fire. Take four damage. So what, right here? Yep. Oh. And you're prone. And I'm impaired. <laughs> well, look on the bright side. In the stop, drop, and roll section, you only have the roll left. That's true. <laughs> just roll out of it. Just roll out. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, just make, it, make like the Autobots and roll out. Yeah. So, <laughs> Bjarn, your turn. I love how the like, last creature in every one of our sessions is bar none the hardest one. <laughs> You're no kidding. Yeah. It's because, like, let's make this epic. Fail. Fail. You know what? I'm just gonna kill the guy. Sort of succeed. So what's Bjarn doing? I want to interrogate here? somebody because I fucked up. Spend part of my turn screaming in pain. <laughs> and the other part healing up. I pull I, I pull the bolt out for my turn, and you do a recovery roll. Okay, so you're staunching the bleeding from Mechog's bolt. Oh, were, were you out of might? Yep. Awesome. Um, so I wasn't out of might yet, but I wanted to heal up. Okay, so yeah, so you quickly like, you know, push where the blood's gouting from, and you know, apply pressure, start packing it a little bit, giving yourself some time. Awesome. So three points wherever you feel that they need to go. Bad guys Possibly turn. Possibly a lot of swearing. Um, he runs into the door, and I think because he's not expecting it, he's gonna he's gonna slam not into wrong. it, and he's gonna stay put from where he is. Like he's not gonna not fall down, but it's gonna like knock him back a step. So like he loses entire like full movement that he would have spent like moving forward and out of like the map. Okay. So he's there for his turn. Okay. Um, so, what do we all have that can slow him down? Because Zach's whole turn is going to be getting up. Pjarn, do you have anything that can stop him from moving? Because I can't get there in time. We who, all said I like have to, who said I have to get up to use a grapple? <laughs> you just going to lay in the fire and grapple him again? All right. No, I'm going to roll out of the fire. I can I can roll two squares. I can you roll can one two square. squares out. True. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Mechog, unfortunately, because he got a GM intervention, he's sitting there fiddling with his gun to unjam it. So I'm throw the gun at the guy. So he's gonna he's gonna <laughs> move two. Oh, please, it's not pointed at me. Yeah, he's gonna move two, which is his maximum. As he, he stupid fucking thing, never works when I need it to. Power claws are where it's really at. Always cut them <laughs> and make a bleed. And like he's sitting there and he's like jiggling the thing, like trying to get it to work and. And that's his entire turn. Um, at that point, it's... Maugen, right? Yeah, Maugen. Yeah, that should be him. What the fuck can I do to keep this guy from taking off? I can't use hedge magic to directly affect or harm him. Um, if I onslaught him and I do a mental attack, can I, like... It says it disrupts the creature's thoughts, thought processes. Does that do anything to slow him down? No, because running's, like, fairly involuntary. Yeah, okay, okay. I'd say, um, like, if it was an intricate task, like, if he was trying to defuse a bomb or, like, throw a grenade at you, you could totally be like, no. And, like, mm -hmm. hedge magic that a little bit. But uh, considering this is a fly fight or flight response, like, a base human instinct, I I'd say that his mental capacity is zero on that. Okay, that makes sense. So then can I move here and try and shrug and pistol his leg? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to spend effort to make it more likely to hit him. 
So I drop my pool down to eight, and I do a. Actually, I can hit my shrieking pistol, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I definitely hit him because I also used effort. Oh yeah, Wait, yeah, you totally plug one. it. Probably at that point, like, like he's like trying to charge forward again, and you catch him like right in the calf, and like yeah, so spins and him around and and right back into the door. <laughs> Yeah, it, like, spins him into the car, and I'm going to say that he's incapacitated for... He, he's n incapable of running at that point, but not dead. Well, I just pretty much took his leg off almost, right? Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you literally okay. ripped his entire calf muscle from his foot, or from yeah. his leg. With the Beautiful. Shirt. Oh, and I need to drop my ammo down to nine now. Yep. Don't forget, guys, if you're using ammo that you need to be knocking off for every turn. Have been. Awesome, thank you. Um, if you're using power weapons, like Mechog's Power Claw, he has to knock down for every one of those. Technically, he's an NPC, so I don't have to keep track of that nearly as much. I'm not used to using ranged weapons. Roland was so shitty with a pistol. Yeah. <laughs> how does... How do I... Uh, dang it! Okay. Yeah, I've missed it from three feet so, away. So you guys have essentially disarmed the fight. Um, Zach, I want to search as, the... As far as you're concerned, I'm going to say that you, you, you quickly roll out of the flames. You don't take damage on your turn. Actually, the beginning of your turn... We'll say, fuck it, you don't take the damage because you're trying to get out right away. I called dibs on searching the leader. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. You did take him out, I'll give you that. Okay, so first thing is loot. Um, so I need just any one of you, whoever wants the designated, I need a 1d6 from you guys. I'll let the... make, let's, make it, let's make it Steven. Steven, give me a, one, a, two, a 1d6. Six. Fuck me. <laughs> right. Is that how many ciphers we get from these yeah. guys? Yeah. Get ready to do some rolling. <laughs> Is that a puppy no, or baby. a person? That's not mine. Maybe Jay's got a dog. It's a dog. It's a puppy in the shape of a adult dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wants attention. Please. Please be with me. I just... I want you. I want you to acknowledge my existence. Yeah, she likes to stay under my desk. For a second, my PDF's frozen up for a second. Oh, right. Let's see here. 36... Fuck, you guys are not going to know what to do with all these. So 36 is friction reducer? Yep. Okay. Sleep inducer. Oh, wow. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> okay, you want to give us a quick rundown of what all these do so we can... Absolutely. So, your friction reducer. Friction reducers spread across an area up to 10 feet. This makes things extremely slippery for one hour. The difficulty of movement tests in the area is increased by three steps. So basically it's a home alone mechanism. That's what, what that basically is. You're, you're basically putting an oil slick in an area. So wait, right. if we get that next time we want to capture instead of kill somebody, we could toss that and it'll be almost impossible to get away. Right, basically they'd like be running in place trying to like get friction, but they're like slipping on the oil. Beautiful. Okay. okay. Um, sleep inducer, I think we're pretty sure on that one, but I'll say it anyway. You touch the victim with this item to cause them to sleep for 10 minutes or until awoken by a violent action or extremely loud noise. So they're just normally asleep. It's not like a magic sleep. They can't basically, wake up Basically you of... Bill Cosby someone. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, vocal, vocal translator, translator I'm assuming. 24 hours, you can understand any one language of your choice. Detonation, mm -hmm. gravity inversion. I'm pretty sure everyone understands how that works. It's a, a, a Star Lord grenade. Basically, he throws it and it sucks everyone to it. 
Or no, that yeah. inversion is outward, I think. Gravity inversion. Uh, wouldn't it just change it so that people would like fly up? They would just invert gravity so people would like fly up, and then when it ends, they would just crash down to the ground. And gra gravity yeah. inverses within it, its radius, so basically everyone basically floats. So basically it's like a, an area levitate wherever the grenade explodes. Cool. Does it do damage as well, or just... Just causes that effect. Okay. Um, I would like the friction reducer oh, or the gravity inverter. There's Ooh. the ray emitter. Oh, the ray emitter, yeah. Um, your ray emitter allows the user to project a ray of a destructive energy up to 200 feet. Um, it inflicts intellectual damage equal to the cipher's level. Also, the victim cannot take an action equal to the number of rounds equal to the level. So, slash roll, 1d6. Damn, we got a lot of really good things to capture That people. is a level 6. So, basically, it deals 6 so int damage. That's a 4 damage. turns done. It, it does 6 int damage and causes them to be unable to do anything for 6 rounds. Damn. And that's basically so like a gun. Is okay. how that works. Okay. Anybody have any preferences for what they get? You're muted, Zach. Oh, darn it. I'm still full on ciphers. Are there any from this that you'd want more than what you have? Um, I mean... What do you have now? I have the Visage Changer and the Psychic Communique. Oh, okay. Um... I'll tell you that as soon as I tear up, I think I get the ability to telepathically communicate, so I don't know. And right now I can... Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's... I think it's tier 2 when I can telepathically communicate. It might be tier 3, so... Mm -hmm. Well, we also have the other one, so... Uh, go ahead, you guys go ahead and grab what you want. Alright. Jay, what do you want? my Enduring Shield Cypher and, and pick up the local translator or if no one wants it the gravity inversion didn't need it. Um, I want it but if you want it take it because I, I, I can get the ray emitter. Narcog will hold Please. one device for you guys to take then. to Nate when he rejoins yeah. us. I want either the ray emitter or the gravity inverter. I don't care which I get so if you want the gravity inverter take it. I'll take the ray emitter. Okay, so Jay's going to take Wait, the ray sorry, emitter. You get, okay. And Steven gets the detonation gravity inversion. Okay. Um, Jay, for um, the ray emitter, it's a level 6. That's important to the actual item. So you need to make can sure I... you put that in. You put that in. you guys think I should drop the blackout device and get a friction reducer? The blackout device just basically generates a cone of... Uh, it, 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 an immediate range becomes secure against visual or auditory spying. Well, you could give one of them to Metcog, and so that he can give it to Nate's character at the at next session. Okay, I guess yeah, he can take the correction reducer. Because remember, Metcog can carry one item for you guys yeah. to give to Nate. But Jay and um, Zach, do you think if I get rid of the black shield, I should take the friction reducer because we might use that twice, or? Should I keep my thing that gives us silence? Because privacy might be useful on the side of the planet, right? I very much enjoy privacy. Okay, then I'll keep uh, I'll keep the gravity inverter and my black shield. But that's just how also how my character works. So I mean, no, that makes sense. We might need it if we're like if we're private quarters in somebody's house, they're probably listening to us. So I could drop that and we can talk yeah. freely. And so, so I think the way that I want to describe how there's so many here is that one of you checks the black box in the back of the trunk that they were trying to get out of the Steel. car, and the some of those are what you find in there. So they were stealing ciphers. Or transporting them or something. Can I get that rocket launcher? Yes, it would be a rocket launcher, but it is empty, and no ammo is on the characters. That's cool. I'm fine with that. What about the uh, guns the do the smaller dudes had? Because I know they had them. Um, those are your average rifles. 
Um, I want that big ass machine gun too, unless uh, we want like Mechog wants that. Okay, so something. yeah, give me one second. I'll pull up those for you. Uh, Mechog does not need that item. I'm not going to use either of them. I'm just going to sell okay, them or give them another so, character, so I don't need the. So stats Mechog for could them. transport some of these back for you if you wish. Um, so you guys have in your possession one, two, three, four, five. Numerical values. Where the fuck are they? Five stubbers and a that machine gun and the rocket launcher have got to be expensive, stubber, right? And a heavy stubber, which is the the he the one that the big guy was using. Okay, and the rocket launcher is just a rocket launcher? Rocket launcher is a rocket launcher. Do we find any ammo for any of this? He apparently only had the one round to fire at the car. Figuring that yeah, I, meant for, it, for, I meant for anything else. Oh yeah, there, if, you're, if you're talking about gu ammo for the stubbers, then there's plenty. So then they can reload their ammo, right? Or at least uh, Cecil can? Because Jay is a laser pistol. Do you have a medium weapon, Zach? Because you're um, using a light stubber, aren't you? Yeah, I'm using a stub revolver. Yeah, that's different. Oh, that's different, different ammo. ammo than the rifles. Okay, yeah. I thought he's doing a two stubber. damage. Their their guns are four damage. Right, basically they're using rifles. Okay. Do I find anything else on the uh, the leader when I in, like I want to investigate his corpse? So I find like a data slate. Do I find any information, anything like that? Um. Yeah, give me an investigation check on the leader, since you're the one that was frisking him. Is that enter? Sight. Um, I have speed. sight. It would be speed of some sort. But I'm trained in sight, so should I hit that? Yeah, to, to discern if there's, a, there's something special about him. <laughs> I can't perceive anything. Okay. Yeah, so what you actually find is you find... Like a little USB that you recognize as as the Imperium's kind of like data okay. slip. Don't blow up my data slate. And when you when you stab it into your data your data slate, Don't blow it up. Don't blow it up. You hear Damn a, it. And and while your data slate is fine, whatever was oh, okay. on that that chip is fried, and you can't get anything off of it. Damn. Okay. Also. And we can tell it's destroyed. I need a speed check from you. That's fine. I don't mind taking damage as long as my precious data slate is not destroyed. Ooh. You hear a beep, 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 and you get it as far as away from your data slip, and then it explodes in your hand. Take two more damage. Yeah, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, where's my sheet? Apparently I it has some, some, some sort of self-destruct self mechanism mm -hmm. to prevent unwanted eyes from accessing that da that data stick. So maybe we should have had Jay check that one out. Might have been a, a good yeah. option to let the computer guy do the computery things, but... I didn't know I was going to find anything. You also got a GM in intrusion, so... Like, yeah, I got <laughs> shafted. <you know? laughs> so if I had succeeded, I would have just found that, and I could have been like, hey, Jay, come check this shit out. Yeah, basically you would have then seen a password, and then like there would have been okay. a role to crack the password. Okay, so now we don't know who tried to kill us because I slaughtered the leader and then destroyed the data chip. Right. So. Okay. Well, um, we do have I a say captive we still. Yeah, we have a captive. Should probably deal with him. Um, should probably also, you know, inform the Duchess that her servitor is toast. Since we have her contact information. Oh, yeah, at this yeah. point, like, there, a rocket went off and stuff. Have any sort of, like, officials shown up? Not yet, so we need but to deal with probably I'd say, considering, like, that entire fight only took, like, a minute, that maybe you hear a, some sirens well off in the distance. Probably this scene is going to be swarmed in about five-ish minutes. Uh, so do we want to dip out or wait around? Yeah, Metcog walks over to BR and he's like, he's like, I'm boss. Eh. I'm sorry that I'm here, and I, I disobeyed your orders, but um, I did a good job. And, and he goes, but um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get blamed for everything <laughs> yeah. in the immediate vicinity. 
And oh, and um, by the way, I'm sorry about that. And he like pokes your fing his finger at your like wound, and like actually like pokes it a little bit, which ah. which hurts. It doesn't cause any damage, but actually it kind of staunches the bleeding a little bit because he like jams the gauze further into your wound. <laughs> so kind of like a, a good and a bad at the same time. But... Uh, it's kind of gasp in pain for a minute. And he goes, and he goes kind of what, what, pulling so a car. Yeah, he's, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like going. Yeah, and he, could, he like bounces oh, back and forth. He's, he's like, I could totally drive one of these. Do we want, I, I have should you not. Metcock has vehicle driving. <laughs> yeah, because that I might need to rip thing. out the seat okay. to drive, but I'm pretty sure I could do it. Do, do we trust him? <laughs> oh, wait, okay. dude, let's just all load in the car, grab the captive, put our loot in the car, and let's just go. Let's get out of the area. So you guys are totally, like, binding and gagging him, throwing him in the trunk of the car, and driving away? Well, yeah. We're going to a hospital. He'll be fine. You are going to a hospital. Going to the hospital sounds like so a good idea right now. we're supposed to go anyway? Is anyone... I'll give this as a freebie. <laughs> Is anyone checking the servitor to see, like, where you guys were going? Because no one knows where the hospital is. Well, yeah, like I said, I was going to check on the servitor okay. so that we could, re you know, relay its status that. to the Duchess to let her know what happened. Yeah, it's so, totally so he, he has yeah, his own right. data slate. It's, like, kind of like a smaller, minor data slate, like a beeper kind of, like, data slate equivalency, which has, like, the address that you need to go to. Yoink. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else you guys want to do on scene before we call it quits for the night? Because realistically, we're about done. Um, I want to take my recovery rolls and that's it. Okay, so I'll tell mm -hmm. you right now, I don't plan on fucking with you between now and the hospital. So I'll give you up to your 10 hour that you can choose um, to do while you're getting there I've because it's going to take about an hour to get to the hospital yeah i think i'll do do i have to this can i roll my first two and see how i'm doing you can do them one at a time so like roll the first okay. one okay i want another okay i want another so if i, I roll a three that means i get a four right because it's a whatever I roll plus, plus one. one so that's a four what? that's a two okay what wait did i just did i actually roll that even though i the K Actually, doesn't wrote one exist. E6. Okay, cool. So I have four, eight. Okay, good thing I used all three. Ugh, that was a rough fight. Um, but yeah, I say we just get get in the car with all the stuff, the dude in tow, and we go. Yeah, I agree. Okay, guys so you, you all pile in, Metcog kind of reaches in, he, like, recognizes that he's not going to fit in this fucking car with the chair there. So, like, he reaches in and, like, rips the driver's chair out from the car, flings it behind him, and then, like, squeeches in. Zach, you're the shotgun person, so, like, you're kind of, like, mashed against the side <laughs> of the window a little bit. Like, it's not comfortable for you at all, like, like trying to do this. Um, Whatever. <laughs> Metcog then like looks down. He's like, "Oh shit! I need to use a stick shift." So then you see him like like take his like metal claw and like try to like grab the stick shift. And he's like, "Um, I can't really do this. I'm gonna need you to to, to shift gears for me." Just tell me when. <laughs> right. And so like then he drives. And so like you kind of have a little bit of grinding of gears as like you try to create this like understanding between like when to shift gears, when to you know, as you're like you're smashed into the car. It, it's totally a clown car situation <laughs> as you, you head off into the dusk sunset of the night headed towards the hospital with, the, with, the, with blood and, and fire and sirens behind you. And we'll pick it up there next time. Well, really good job on making get... an impression, guys. Fantastic. <laughs> Hopefully there weren't security oh, cameras. Did I ever get a psychic reply from Amber Lee's dude? Um, probably while you're recovering, you, you, you get a, a quick response, like, like, are you okay? Noted. Like, like, yeah. noted, and then, yeah, are, noted, is everything okay? Like, like, after, like, five minutes of combat, like, they're like, is everything okay? 
All right, well, I'll just give her a status update. And then you're, you're like, up, status update, we're injured, but we're okay. We're headed to the hospital, furthering we our investigation. To determine who attacked us, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, and then Roger, <clears throat> check in with you tomorrow. And, like, that's cool. kind of, like, the, the extent of the second okay. commune. All righty. And so that is the night. Um, I will, just for Twitch viewers, I will stick around for a little bit longer. If you have questions, I'll go ahead and answer those. I know, Jag, you wanted to know something about my OBS and um, whatnot, so I'll help you out with that. Um, as for the three of my players, thank you guys for playing. I hope you enjoyed my first night DMing in the Cypher system for Warhammer. I think we had fun. I think it was very <laughs> interesting. Last, I got to fry his brain. Everyone got to do some really cool shit in there. I think yeah. Metcog was an awesome was 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 a super boss. So I was pretty happy about <laughs> about Metcog. Except the part where you shot me. Walk it off, he was. It's just cancer. Collateral damage. Yeah, he, did. he did. Totally okay. He did plug the wound. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I plugged the wound. Are you kidding me? I totally helped you out with the situation that I. And created. he's taking. And he's taking you to the hospital. What more can you ask for? I do like the idea of having him up our sleeves in case shit goes south. We can just have him crash through a wall and start tearing. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. He'll be our Kool-Aid man. That's like that joke. You ever seen that joke where it's it's like the, the country balls? And it, it like, it's like like England and Germany. And, the, and England goes, mm -hmm. hey, or, or, and Canada. And England's like, hey, um, where's America? And Kendall's like, Smashes like no problem, wall. I got this. And he goes, Bill Nye, the science guy. And then like America busts through the wall, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I see Metcog. He's basically like the the all American orc. Just constantly excited to be there. <laughs> Loves his guns and fucking shit up. <laughs> Minus the Cockney accent. Totally worth it though. <laughs> uh, he saved our bacon the night. So glad that you guys brought Mech Hug. I was kind of <laughs> sad when, like, like Jay's like, no, we're not. And I'm like, oh, like, Mech Hug could totally have so much fun in this adventure. Fucking stuff up. Because now I get to use Mech Hug as a GM intrusion. Mm. Like, can you imagine, like, when you guys get to the hospital stuff. and Mech Hug steps out of the car? Yeah, maybe we should get him back to the show. Yeah. <laughs> nope, still totally worse. An still orc on a hive world? Perfect. Good job, guys. Well, I mean, also, who, who's going to say no while we're wandering around with him? Yeah. So, Would have been great right. if you brought him along for the gladiatorial arena. He'd be like, right, I'm going down there. Bust the glass, <laughs> like, leaps down the stands. Got things to do. Okay, yeah. here we go. I'll have my servo skull announce him and make up a few titles. It'll be fine. Awesome. Next time we see Amber, we might want to try and get like a little inquisitorial seal so we have, can do shit like this without okay, being executed. So <laughs> I want I want to do it. Go ahead and do my GM, um, my GM role playing real quick. I want to go ahead and I'm gonna give it to Zach tonight for for role playing because I think he did the most RP. Jay was fun and he did his things, but unfortunately I think that just internet connection kind of boned him compared to the other players. So I'm gonna give Zach. So Zach, you get to give one XP. You get one XP and then you get to give one to either J Jay or Steven for tonight. Give it to Mechog. Yeah. I, <laughs> I totally should give it to Mechog, but I mean he does deserve it. Uh, how much? I'll give it to Steven so he can catch up. Thank you. Okay.